Yeah, it's a really good one tonight. So a sensational row has broken out between J.K. Rowling and India Willoughby after the Harry Potter author branded the trans broadcaster a man. But in an interview yesterday, Willoughby revealed that she's called the police. J.K. Rowling has definitely committed a crime. I'm legally a woman. She knows I'm a woman. Um, so um, you reported J.K. Rowling I have reported J.K. Rowling to the police for what she said, which I don't know that if that's going to be treated as a hate crime, malicious communications, but it's a cut and dried offence as far as I'm concerned. I think as far as I'm concerned is the important bit there. J.K. Rowling then immediately hit back. She said, some time ago, lawyers advised me that not only did I have a clearly winnable case against India Willoughby for defamation, but that India's obsessive targeting of me over the past few years may meet the legal threshold for harassment. So, you've heard both sides. Now help me settle this. Was India Willoughby right to report J.K. Rowling to the police for calling them a man? Let me know your thoughts by emailing gbviews at gbnews.com. Tweet me at gbnews. Go and vote in our poll. But to debate this now, I'm joined by social commentator Amy Anzell and the influencer Ollie London. Both of you, thank you very much. Ollie, I will start with you. Is India Willoughby right to report J.K. Rowling to the police? Absolutely not. I think it's totally farcical and a waste of police resources. You know, while J.K. Rowling is a champion for women's rights, I think India Willoughby has been nothing but a bully that has targeted J.K. Rowling over many, many years. And J.K. Rowling tweeted herself that she has grounds to sue uh, India Willoughby for harassment. So I think, you know, India Willoughby trying to play victim. And look, the truth is not transphobic. While people can be respectful for people's identities and people do identify in different ways, that should not come at the cost of women's rights should not come at the cost of bullying people like J.K. Rowling because a real hate crime is when Jewish people are attacked in central London on a weekend. A real hate crime is when a Jewish journalist is attacked in Speaker's Corner. That is a hate crime. It is not a hate crime to call a man a man. Yeah, Amy, it's not a hate crime to call a man a man. Well, listen, India Willoughby is legally a woman. She had gender reassignment surgery. She has a, uh, her um, passport says she's female. Her birth certificate says she's female. This was 100% a hate crime. Just as if someone calls a black person the N-word, that's racism. It, is it the is same it? thing, Amy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. I'm and worse off, I do believe that when... Um, J.K. Rowling tweeted this to her 14 million followers. She further incited hate. She further incited violence. And that's just awful. I mean, I'm Indian just going to, yeah, just, just, just quickly on that, um, Amy. Just quickly on that, Amy, because it's quite a strong accusation that, that she's actually incited violence. I mean, is there any proof of that? Well, absolutely. India Willoughby is afraid for her life. She thinks she might be murdered. She further well, tweeted that. She is so scared. Um, and that's not from nothing. That is okay. from hateful tweets. That is inside. That's what I'm talking about. That's inciting violence. That's inciting hate. Right. 14 oh. million followers. That's so powerful, Patrick. Ollie, is that, is that fair enough? Or, you know, yet again, are we just dealing with feelings here? Well, the only victim in this situation is J.K. Rowling, who has been relentlessly bullied by Indy Willoughby and many other trans activists, simply for initially saying that uh, biological men can't menstruate. That was her initial tweet, and she's been subjected to abuse, stalkers, harassment ever since. And I think it's really shameful for someone like Indy Willoughby to play the victim when we live in such a great, inclusive country. We're respectful to people regardless of their identities. Nobody has an issue. You, as long as you're not affecting women's rights. If a biological man goes into women's space, women's sports, that is an issue. But if you're just going about your life, you're not affecting other people, nobody has an issue. And J.K. Rowling is not transphobic. She doesn't care how someone identifies. She only cares about these misogynist people like India Willoughby that are targeting women and trying to silence their voices. OK. I mean, Amy... As I understand it, it has already been established in law that this is not a hate crime with the Maya Forstata case. Is there a school of thought that might say that India Willoughby is looking for attention? Absolutely not. I just don't understand why J.K. Rowling can't refer to India Willoughby, who had gender reassignment surgery, she identifies as a female, and she's legally considered a female. Why won't J.K. Rowling refer to her as a woman? Why should she have to, though, Amy? Because she's legally a woman. OK. 
So that that that's that's all that all all that matters for you in that sense, really. It doesn't it doesn't matter about biology necessarily, Amy. Well, she she has the same biological parts that I do. Well, she's a I'm, woman. She's legally a woman. Sure, just like me, her birth certificate says female, her passport says female, she is a woman. She doesn't just identify as a woman, o Ollie, she's a legal I'll, woman. I'll, I'll bring you in on this. Um, uh, India Willoughby has the same biological parts as any woman. Well, she may, oh, sorry, he may have chopped off his body parts, but that doesn't make him a biological woman. And while you can change a piece of paper and say that he is a woman, he simply isn't. And look, everybody's inclusive in this country. Nobody really has an issue. But when you're going around trying to take away women's rights, when you're going around harassing women, which is what India Willoughby is doing to J.K. Rowling, that is where we should draw the line. And, you know, we have to accept reality as inclusive as we can be. A man is a man. And uh, what would you say, Ollie, to somebody who says... Oh, what, you've, what you've said there is, is, is transphobic. Well, I'll tell you what is transphobic and what makes life hard for actual trans people is people like India Willoughby that are constantly trying to be an oppressed minority, constantly victims. Trans people have had great rights in this country for many, many years. They've been accepted in society. However, in the last few years, people that have been trans for maybe 20, 30 years, they are having a really hard time now because these radicalised trans activists that have really destroyed their movement, they were living their life in peace. And now you have these kind of woke activists trying to make it all about them. And some trans people just want to live their lives. So people like India... I think they're causing harm to their own community. Uh, Amy, what about all of their death threats that J.K. Rowling has had? I mean, surely she's got as much of a case against India Willoughby as anyone else, really. I mean, she's had people threatening to turn up at her house. She's had threats to burn her house down with her inside it. I mean, all of this vile, disgusting stuff. A lot of that has come from, from the trans community or allies. Like I said, J.K. Rowling has 14 million followers. Um, India Willoughby has had thousands upon thousands of death threats, of violence. I mean, she, like I said, she's so she? afraid for her life. She, yes, and she's afraid for her life. She actually just tweeted. Um, I can read it to you. She You're going to have to because she's blocked me. If I get murdered, you know who to blame. Stochastic mm. terrorism. This is what she's doing. This is all because... J.K. Rowling can simply refer and respect India Willoughby's um, sexual orientation. OK, I'm just going to read, uh, Ollie, I'll, I'll give you the, the final say on this. This is the latest from J.K. Rowling. The word transphobic, as used here, she's referring to the, the, the piece that was, that was put out earlier on, uh, does not mean an irrational fear or dislike of trans people. It means refusing to use gender identity ideologies, jargon, refusing to parade slogans, refusing to accept that sex doesn't matter when it comes to sport or single sex spaces, refusing to believe a bearded heterosexual man becomes a lesbian when he declares himself one, and refusing to believe an abusive misogynistic male is a woman because he likes to wear mini dresses and pout in selfies. Is that offensive? Well, look, if you want to identify as a woman, that's on you, you know. But when you're coming for women like J.K. Rowling and trying to take away their rights, trying to charge her with a hate crime, you know, J.K. Rowling is one of the UK's biggest philanthropists. She's an incredible activist mm. and an advocate for so many people, kids, women. And it's just so wrong for India Willoughby to play victim. Yes, there are real victims of transphobia in countries and in places in the Middle East where they can get thrown off buildings, they can get mm. stoned to death. These are real victims of transphobia. But this country... Must majority of people like J.K. Rowling don't care how you identify as long as you don't come and try and take away their rights. And sadly, India and radical trans activists are desperately trying to take away women's rights in order to feed their misogynism. Look, Amy, I'm, I'm, I absolutely would never do this seriously, by the way, so please don't take too much offence to this. But if, you know, if I called you a man, right, is that a hate crime? Yes. Right, OK. It's a good point to leave it, I think. Thank you very much. The social commentator, Amy Anzell, and the influencer, Ollie London. Right, so who do you agree with? Was India Willoughby right to report J.K. Rowling to the police over being called a man? Jean on X says, appalling what J.K. Rowling said about India Willoughby. Rowling needs to understand that they are virtually the same people. Interesting. Michael says, the police have more important stuff to deal with than name-calling. Well, your verdict is now in. 3% of you agree that India Willoughby was right to report J.K. Rowling to the police. Yes, you heard that correctly, 3%. 97% of you say that it was the wrong thing to do.